welcome back to my channel. My name's Amber and this is Fabricating Fringe. Today I'm sharing with you guys this absolutely beautiful style by Noriko. And this is from Continental Wigs over there in the UK. I'm so excited to share this with you guys today and uh, just take note, you can get free shipping over at Continental Wigs using the code FABFREE. So don't forget that and I will have that down below so you do not forget. Anyway, um, today this style is called Zane by Noriko, like I mentioned, um, and this is from Renee of Paris. And the color that you see here is Creamy Toffee R. I love this long bob or what some refer to as lobs. It's, um, it's so trendy, it's like that classic, sleek bob look. So let's take a look at the color, Creamy Toffee R, um, and then we will move on to Zane. So Creamy Toffee R is a rooted dark blonde can see that beautiful root right here. You have a honey blonde, evenly blended with a light platinum blonde. So I think it really is a fantastic mixture between, you know, that honey, honey that you see in there, but then you have um, some of that lighter blonde mixed in there to kind of even it out and just make the overall look of this blonde just really, really, really pretty, warm, and luscious. I would say the root is like a medium to dark brunette. And looking at it right here, it looks like uh, just like a neutral brown. It doesn't look uh, very warm. And I like that because um, of the warmth within the rest of this color. I think it's a good contrast. Um, and they did a fantastic job blending and feathering that out into the rest of this gorgeous shade. So you have this effortlessly chic bob and it has a fringe or, you know, bang. You can side sweep it and uh, if you really wanted to, you could probably even trim it if you wanted more of a blunt bang, but I do love that this does have somewhat of a fringe as you can see. Now this wig is a lace front, mono part and wefted back wig. Uh, it's very comfortable and this is an average size wig and it fits me true to size. Now, sometimes Noriko people claim uh, fits a little snug. I think this is very true to average, but um, for somebody that wears uh, larger wig caps, this might, you know, really hug your head a little bit more. Um, the circumference fits me fantastic, but it does feel very secure, very um, snug. Uh, to give you an idea of, of the roominess of it and the way that it feels. Now this is synthetic fiber, so you do want to be mindful of heat of the oven. Um, you don't want to melt this fiber, but this gorgeous swing and shape to this style is going to maintain after washing. Just shake, let it dry, and you have this gorgeous chic bend and movement to this lovely bob. I'd say the density on this style is more on the light end. Um, I have worn lighter, but uh, this is this is a realistic looking density in my opinion. Um, not so light that you're like, what's the point? But definitely has a very natural appearance. Let me do a full turnaround of this gorgeous Zane so you can see it from all angles. You can see that layer and how the bang tapers into the rest of this cut. It is so cute. I love it. Okay, let's take Zane off so you guys can see the underside of this cap construction. So as you can see, you have your monofilament lace front that extends into a left mono part. This is all individually hand tied. It's meant to look like natural hair growth, as you can see. So this part isn't super duper thin. So if you wanted to, you could move it to the left or right just slightly, but um, essentially this is your left part. On the side of that part, you do have some material and um, under that there is just a little bit of permatease. This, this gives this gorgeous bob enough lift and volume right at the roots. And I just think the silhouette 
and whole look of the wig definitely needs that little bit of permatease right up there at the crown. Um, I know a lot of people get concerned about permatease and they want to know if it is in there. So just, just so you're aware, there is just a slight amount right there in the crown on, um, on the side of that monofilament part. Now the rest of this wig is open wefted. Many of you guys know open wefting um, does make the price point of the wig uh, more affordable, but also it makes it more breathable. You have great air ventilation. So if you live in a hotter climate, like if it's summertime, um, not only is a bob going to keep you uh, nice and cool and a light bob like this, but then you have that open wefting, which is also very breathable. You have these bendable ear tabs. And what I like is you actually have some hair sewn on like on the inner side of that ear tab. So I think that when you have it on, um, especially if you don't pull out any hair like I do, I usually pull out these little sideburns on my hair to kind of blend with my wigs. But um, if you don't do that or you don't have any hair at all, I feel like having this hair kind of stick out um, from underneath the tab creates a more realistic appearance. Now you have this small velvet nape and the adjusters at the nape, and that helps you fit this wig more true to size and keep it nice and secure. Okay, let's put Zane back on. So as you can see, I have a left part, but I kind of have it parted in the middle and then it kind of shimmies on over to that left part. I think having a messy part like that makes the whole thing look um, kind of just real, real looking. It doesn't have that perfection uh, to, to the parting and I, I feel like it it just looks natural that way it, it kind of did that on its own as I put it back on and I like it and then what it does too is it's breaking up that side sweat bang so I have a little bit of that fringe on either side and I do like the way that kind of happened on its own as I put this back on what do you guys think of having that fringe on both sides rather than just only on that that side I think it's kind of kind of cute but you can see it has that lace front and then it shimmies on over to that left part and that parting looks kind of messy looking, but I do like the way it looks. Um, here's the lace front, a closer look of that. You do have some darker knots as you can see, but that is common when you have a darker wig or um, a wig that's lighter with a darker root. So that's just something to be mindful of. But what are your thoughts? of this beautiful Zane. I think it is so adorable. I think it has a very chic and um, classy look to it. Uh, I think you could wear it at all ages, whether you're, you know, mid, middle-aged, older, younger. It's just one of those um, timeless bobs that anybody could get away wearing. Now the front is 6.9 inches. Your sides are 8.3 inches. The back of Zane is 9.8 inches. The crown is 8.6 inches. And your nape is 4.9 inches. The total weight of Zane is 4.0 ounces. I feel like it's nice and light and airy and comfortable. I really, really am digging this style. If you guys love this style, you can find it at Continental Wigs. Continental Wigs has a wide range of colors and styles and brands available. They are a fantastic down-to-earth company. And if you have any questions from them, any concerns, don't hesitate to reach out to them. Go uh, sign up for their newsletter so you can be notified of any promos or sales that are going on. So I do suggest that. All the links will be down below to this here Zane and to Continental Wigs, their website and whatnot. So um, go take a look down below. Um, let me know what you guys think about this beautiful Zane and this gorgeous color, Creamy Toffee R. I love it. It is so, so pretty. Um, if this was helpful, then give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. And definitely, definitely let me know your thoughts of this style. If you've tried it, uh, if you're a bob wearer and this is something that you have had on your radar, let me know, comment below. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you. Uh, thank you to Continental Wigs for giving me the opportunity to share this style with you guys today. And um, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.